know, a lot of people ask me what my thoughts are on duck flower and if I have ever tried it. As great as a herb or I should say a plant as it is, I will never try it. I'll share my thoughts on why in a moment, but first let's talk about duck flower. So what is duck flower? Duck flower is a plant that's green and white with purple brownish veins to it and it has a dark color in the center. It kind of looks like a duck. That's where it, it gets its nickname from. Its scientific name is Aristolotia grandiflora. The plant is native to Caribbean, Central and Eastern North America. Often found in Mexico, Panama, Jamaica and Honduras. If you plan to forage the plant, you'll find it tends to thrive near streams rivers with open sunlight and sometimes with a midday shade. I see a lot of people selling it on Etsy. So there's a lot of small businesses that tend to have it for sale. And I bought one a couple months back from a company. I can't recall the name of the company, but um, when I received it, it came as a dried form. So it wasn't the plump looking flower that you typically see from the images. Like many other plants, duck flower tends to shrivel up when out of its natural environment for uh, long periods of time. This was the herb that I heard so much about when I first started this journey because that was the experience you got whenever you made a visit to Usha village. It was a part of your healing package. They would give you a fresh, plucked duck flower to eat and that would assist with your cleansing process. A lot of powerful benefits. It was used as a cleanse for overload of mucus in the body, a cleanse for waste from the intestines, um, also a cleanse for parasites. After taking the herb, they noticed an increase in energy and vitality. It reduced bloating and was a great factor for weight loss. It was great for starting a new beginning. This plant, from what I recall back then, was one of those herbs you had to try to assist in your journey of transitioning to alkaline living because it killed any cravings. With that being said, it is a very aggressive detox. You can expect anywhere from three to five hours of discomfort. We're talking vomiting, bowel movements, stomach discomfort, aches, and other flu-like symptoms. The ideal way to take it is to use it in the morning. That way you have the entire day to deal with the symptoms. Would not recommend taking it late in the evening. They say you can take it with a light breakfast of raw fruit or water and tea. Me, I would go with water and lime or a tea because I don't want to have the chance of vomiting things that I ate. And you wanna make plans to be at home all day. Anybody that's taken the duck flower, you want to make sure you called off work or maybe it's a weekend where you have absolutely nothing planned. Somebody's babysitting the kids. You, you know, you just plan to be off that day. What you want to do is eat the entire flower and chew thoroughly. You can also blend it into a smoothie if you would like. Afterwards, you want to drink your water with lime throughout the day. Anything to replenish your electrolytes after vomiting or bowel movements. Even young coconut water would be ideal for this situation. Why I will never take it. The idea of throwing up vomiting is not I'm not cool with that. I don't even like to imagine throwing up. I haven't thrown up in so long. The last time I ever vomited was when I was around 18, 19 at a party, too much alcohol. And I was like, never again. The feel of my mouth getting watery. You know, vomiting is one of my least favorite ways of detoxing. I think when you throw up, it leaves a lot of bacteria on your tongue and it causes a lot of erosion to your teeth. If there's any way I can avoid vomiting, I'm gonna do that. I'm really satisfied with releasing waste via bowel movements, but throwing up is not cool for me. I just feel there's so many other ways to detox and I'm not in a rush to cleanse my body. You know, I don't need a very aggressive detox. I like to, you know, take my time to heal. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with those who opt to go the route of eating duck flour, but I just have a different plan for how I plan to heal. And you know, that's just me. I am more so interested just to say that I've done it and 
have more authority to speak on it, but I'm good. But if you have tried duck flour, I would like to know what your experience was like. Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I hope you found today's video informative. Do me a favor, check out a few of the other videos here on the channel. Until next time, 2098. Bye, Daye.